For the past week, Kennedy has been our correspondent at the Republican convention. I asked her to try to cover what the mainstream media doesn't. So she first checked out the anti-capitalist protesters' complaints about corporate rule. Corporate rule has got to go! No party save go! Corporate rule has got to go! In these complaints about Wall Street, Kennedy saw hypocrisy. They all use Max. They all fly United. They all pump their cars, fill a Chevron gas. Say no to the corporations. I mean, me personally, I'm really worried about what, the environment. What so. kind of computer do you use? I use a five-year-old Mac. And I that's have, a corporation? I know. I See, the thing is... Is there a non-corporate computer? Because I haven't seen one yet. I don't think so. So, <laughs> Kennedy, did they make any sense? They make sense to themselves. The anarchists, you think these are going to be the freedom lovers? They want their own set of laws. They, yeah. they really don't love freedom across the board. No one does. They're a little hypocritical. I, I hear there are, there are people who call themselves anarchists there, and they're calling for more regulation? They are. They, they want regulation on corporation. They want their own form of government smothering. Even though they, they say they're anarchists and they wear the pretty masks, it's hypocrisy across the board. Uh, all right. Well, there, they, there weren't that many of them. So let's move on, because Kennedy also covered the convention uh, with Ron Paul's success in mind. Republicans kept talking about freedom and opportunity. You're the party of opportunity unless you're gay. We can agree to disagree on certain issues, but at the end of the day, we have the right message and the right team to win. On Tuesday, Ron Paul delegates tried to at least nominate the candidate they had pledged to represent. Ron Paul! Ron Paul! But the Republican rule said to do that, you need delegate signatures from five states. Paul got petitions from Nevada, Minnesota, Maine, Iowa, Alaska. But the party then changed the rules on the spot. They said delegates need petitions from eight states. In other words, it's like changing the goalposts in the middle of a game. So Ron Paul made a brief appearance on the convention floor, but nothing official. Kennedy caught up with him right before he left. Dr. Paul, congratulations on your campaign and igniting your supporters' passion. We have seen those delegates. They have clung so hard to their beliefs. They're really fighting down there. What did you say to them when you went on the floor? Well, it was mostly pretty much social encouragement. Thank you. I love your enthusiasm. Do your best and that sort of thing. Nothing, no particulars. They're fighting for the soul of the party. They want to keep your message alive. How do they do that? Everybody has to do what they think they are best at. Yeah. Some people may run, some people might support other candidates, some, but everybody has to study. And that's what amazes me. They usually go and study, and they, study, and they read economics, yeah. and uh, they change their careers and all. So I am utterly amazed about what, uh, what they do. One thing they did was have another big, passionate rally. Thousands of people showed up. Few politicians get anywhere near this crowd. Even Ron Paul isn't certain why so many come. I can't claim anything special. All I can claim is a sincere interest and determination and conviction that the uh, spirit of liberty, the principles of liberty, and all that we talk about, they're correct. And I always say I recognize my shortcomings, and I don't pretend that, you know, I'm the greatest speaker or anything else, but I am convinced that if we pursue and follow up and advance the cause of liberty that was given us in our early history, we don't have to go back to the dark ages of authoritarianism. We are the future. We aren't the past. We are the future, and Speak, that's why a lot of people. Speaking of that rally, talk about young people. They yeah. are the future. Gary Johnson would like to accept the baton from you. Is it yours to pass, and are you willing to do that? No, I don't have any power to pass anything. Yeah. You know. Uh, do you support him? I think he's wonderful, and I think he's doing a good job, and people should look at him, and every individual should make up their own mind. Okay, yeah, he wouldn't come out really um, endorse Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson, uh, for those of you who don't know, is the Libertarian Party, the head of the Libertarian Party ticket. Uh, Ron Paul has run as a Libertarian. Uh, maybe, well, Kennedy, what do you think? The vibe you got? I think that uh, he, he stopped shy of an endorsement, but I think you're going to see a lot of Paulites who have been disenfranchised at this convention by the Republican establishment. They're going to take a good hard look at Gary Johnson and the Libertarian Party. 
the Paul Lights held a press conference today outside, and not just them, the Tea Party movement and other grassroots movements like Rick Santorum, who have been squashed with these rule changes. And they're not happy about it. All right, well, I have a point of view, and I'm okay with Santorum being squashed, but I didn't like Ron Paul being squashed. And the, his delegates there, that were, was there acceptance? This is just part of the game. Maybe uh, Ron Paul's son, Rand, will carry on the banner, or are people, were, were they upset? Here, the delegates have worked so hard, they were upset, and they I mean, tried to get him to speak on stage. They did whatever they could to get him in nomination. It didn't work, and they were turned away. Will they, they turn to Rand Paul? Will they turn to Gary Johnson? Time will tell, and it's up to the individual. That's what Ron Paul wanted to get across to his supporters. They played a tape of uh, Ron Paul, and afterward, a lot of the Paul delegates just walked out protesting. Yeah. Did, did the convention notice that, or was it a big thing, small thing? No, they, they did notice that. There is discord within the Republican Party. They're trying to make it seem like this is a completely united party, and it's just simply not. And we have seen the fissures exposed this week. And if Mitt Romney loses, the party will dissolve a little bit and will have to reinvent itself. Well, I'm impressed that you can walk and talk among all those people in balloons. With Thank you.